Hello, this is Tom from AntiProton.com, and I'm sitting in my car here. I just went to get some emergency snacks in the middle of the night, and as you can see, it's freezing rain everywhere. So, oh my god, I really got some chips, so I'm good to go. Um, today's little thing is about uh, uh, weather. This just came off the top of my head because I was talking about how it was icing and freezing in there, and the person behind the counter wasn't 100% sure as to why it might become warmer later on, even though it seems cold now. And it occurs to me, I guess people really don't know a lot about the weather, so maybe I should say some random little factoids. Uh, first off, there are fundamentally two types of fr uh, fronts. Now, a meteorologist will tell you there's lots and lots of other crazy things going on, but there's basically two types of fronts. There are cold fronts and there are warm fronts. A cold front occurs when cold air pushes warm air. A warm front occurs when warm air pushes cold air. So it's kind of simple. You name the front for the for the for the driving force, whatever that might be. So the intersection point between two fronts is uh, I'm sorry, between two air masses is called a front, and it has something called a squall line, which is generally where all the rain starts coming in. A squall line, not a squall line. It's not a bunch of uh, Native American women. It's um, well, that's sort of a inappropriate term. But anyhow, that's okay. I live with a bunch of Indians for years and years and years and years and years. And I got called so many things that, you know what, whatever. I'm not worried about it. Um, so basically put uh, a uh, front occurs when cool and warm air touch one another. At this point, there's something called the barometric pressure. It's the amount of uh, uh, pressure that's going on in a particular area at any particular time. Uh, well, actually, um, Barometric means pre uh, uh, a measure of, of pressure, actually, because, well, that's words from Latin and Greek, or Greek and Latin, rather. Anyhow, uh, when, the, when, when, when the temperature of the air falls below the dew point, which is the point at which water can condense, well, then water starts to condense. And uh, a good example might be of this if you take a really cold glass and walk outside on a really, really hot, humid day, steam and mist will, afford, will immediately appear on the glass and water will t attach to it. And what's happening is the water in the air has been cool all of a sudden. The air has been cool right around the glass to just below the dew point, whatever that might be. And then the water is adhering to the glass and the glass becomes what's called a condensation nuclei meaning it is something, you, it is nuclei, it's a center of something that gets condensed upon, condensation nuclei. In the air what happens is the, 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 the thermal gradient, the point between the warm and the cold air mass, is where the temperature can cool enough to the point where, the, uh, where it drops below the dew point. And all that, that water that's in the air will start ad adhering to dust that's in the air. And the dust becomes condensation nuclei and you get than precipitation, be that rain, snow, whatever. In fact, if you've ever heard of seeding clouds and, and farmers, you know, doing that sort of thing, what they're doing is they're, they're finding an area where it's probably below the dew point, but there's no actual rain, so they drop dust or salt or all sorts of other random things. I think it's just dust. But the point is, as it falls, no, no it's not salt, it's, uh, du yeah, just dust. As you're, as you're dropping it, what happens is the, the, the water forms around the droplets and then falls to the ground. There's somebody blowing their engine up over there. Anyway, um, uh, they're not taking into account the, to use my earlier term, th thermal gradient that occurs in the expansion of metal on an engine when you sit there and rev the motor like an imbecile when it's cold. Anyhow, so the water falls to the ground, and that's where rain comes from. And uh, the, front, the front that's going over us has been stormy for a long time, and one of the properties of a warm front is they tend to go on for a really long time. The slow moving, they take a long time to go by. Cold fronts are usually abrupt and fast and rrr, and they blast you with lightning and all kinds of crap. And uh, let me adjust my temperature here in the car just a little. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyhow, um, that, that would be a, a basic idea of weather. So it's been going on all day. So it's, it's likely going to actually get warmer before it gets cooler. And it's currently 32 degrees, which means it's probably it's Fahrenheit, probably freezing, but um, yeah, we'll find out. Actually, if it was 32 degrees um, Celsius, it'd be kind of warm out. Go figure. Well, I have a frosty beer which I intend to go inebriate myself with, 
uh, while my, my liver turns the ethanol into acetyl ethanol acetate, I believe, off the top of my head. And I will eat my potato chips because they are stupid awesome. And I will take my coffee home, which I will heat up tomorrow and go to work, where I will spend all day long working on a whiteboard, doing other complex things and things I can't talk about, etc., 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 etc. You didn't hear any of that. So, um, yeah. And, uh, five points to anybody who can tell me what this thing is stuck to the front of my car. You might find that interesting. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. If you saw that little sticky thing, take a guess what that is and let me know. <laughs> and if you can't see it, and I'm an idiot and have no idea it was even up there, you can also just say that too. This might be one of those times I might allow idiot in comments and it would be okay. So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to drive now home, and um, that'll be the end of that. Bye-bye.